All right, so today's job is replacing double glazed window panes that have blown like you see here. Uh, these are on some patio doors and you have staining normally inside the window or condensation that because uh, it's inside the double glazed unit it's impossible to do anything about it. The way to fix the window is just to replace the glass. There's no point in changing all the frame. The uh, frame is perfectly good. So here we show you how to do it and it's the cheapest way of doing it. There are different types of um, UPVC windows around that have slightly different arrangements for locating the window. Uh, one of the commonest types is like this where you have beading on the outside of the window that has to be removed. So get a little screwdriver, try and oik out the rubber, the rubber beads. Like so. Do this all the way around. Then go on to the inside. So the outside beading has been removed. You can give the glass a shove. Allows it to go forward a little bit more. And then we can remove the inside beading by pushing it in and pulling it out from the slight recess that it's in. And it's useful to have perhaps a spatula to stop, stop you marking the plastic too much. Uh, sometimes it's easier to start from the middle, sometimes the end. So if you can push it out enough until you start to see this little gap here, then you try and get the spatula down there, like so. And try not to mark the plastic too much. If you can get hold of the strip, then it's another way of doing it. Like so, and remove all these pieces. Sometimes it helps to give it a little knock with a hammer just to help push over the pain a little bit more help in getting the plastic pieces off. Now once you've got one side off you can then pull to get the rest of it off and what you might be able to do is get the spatula down a gap and lever it out like so. Then once all the trim is removed you should be able to remove the glass. If it's not stuck, maybe just a little tweak from one side to the other should unstick it. There we go, it's obviously jammed in with a little bit of a spacer. Uh, take note of where the spacers are, I'll try and put them back in the same place. And you can lift the pane out. Just to mention quickly, the other type of double glazed window you might come across is this type which instead of having rubber beading on the inside of the window it has uh, black uh, uh, double-sided tape foam and the idea is that you have to push the window to compress the foam and then remove the bead as before um, but then the window is actually stuck onto the double-sided tape so you need two people one person this side to um, stop the pane from uh, falling down and on the inside you need to push it out after you've broken the seal between the tape and the window. And to do that, get a spatula, a knife or something of the sort, put a little bit of lubrication on it, a bit of spittle or a bit of uh, silicon grease and just push it down in between the uh, double sided tape and the window and work your way across to break the seal between the tape and the window. Then you'll be able to push the window it's just from the top. Uh, it will need quite a shove and have somebody on the other side ready to catch it and then you'll be able to push the window away from the foam tape and leave the foam tape in place. Uh, you can just leave the uh, original foam tape in place if it's reasonable condition or strip it out and replace it with um, new double-sided foam tape that you can get from places like uh, eBay. You may, you may be thinking what am I going to do with this massive grey window pane? I found the easiest way is uh, take it outside on the drive 
uh, cover your eyes, give it a little bit of a tap on the edge. If it's toughened like this one, then the whole uh, pane will shatter. Uh, wear some gloves because there'll be a lot of tiny little sharp bits of glass. Then you can uh, bend these aluminium sections, fold them all up, sweep up the glass, put it in a bucket or shovel, and uh, bag it and dump it. While you've got the window out, I would check for any uh, water drainage issues uh, because you will get some water that goes past the outer rubber seal or into the frame. And if the drainage roots with the window are not very good, then you can get water into the room below or maybe at the edges of the window. So what I quite like to do is redo the uh, drainage holes, seal over the screws with some polymer sealant and um, the details on redoing the drainage look at one of my other videos which is all about preventing water leaks from new PVC windows. It basically involves inserting a tube after you drill a hole of the right size through the frame and at the front of the window. So to get the replacement glass, uh, look up a local glass supply company, double glazed uh, unit supply company. Uh, a lot of companies out there will just uh, specialise in supplying the glass and not the actual frames. Uh, they supply it to the trade and therefore it's dirt cheap. Had uh, 11 uh, window panes, a lot of them uh, patio door uh, types are quite large like this one. And 11 of them cost me about £660 plus the VAT. If you want the best sort of insulation uh, for your room and from the glass, then ask for um, low E glass or E glass and have it argon gas filled and that will give you the best thermal insulation for your room. Uh, otherwise just ask for um, E glass and um, after that then just standard glass is the uh, is the worst. If you've got uh, glass for a patio window door you need to have it toughened as well. So this one says toughened. Then with the glass refitted, the new glass this is, make sure it's the right way around. There uh, should be a label saying which way faces the room. Push in the trim. Uh, yeah on these ones, some of the ones have little lips on them so you have to make sure it goes behind this plastic lip uh, if you don't get it in right then you can get this lip sitting the wrong side of the edge and you'll find this this edge is not touching the glass correctly refit the spaces around the window obviously the two at the bottom first so that the window is level and look so that you've got an even um, Separation of both sides as well. Also make sure the space uh, is sitting across both of the panes of glass. Otherwise you won't uh, get the glass to fit flushly. And the spacers need to be supporting both of the panes. Otherwise over time one pane will shift with respect to the other and probably break the uh, gas seal of the double glazed unit. When refitting the trim you might not be able to push it all the way in with your hands so having a little block of wood, make sure it's clean and hammer or mallet, just give a little tap all the way along like so. Once one side looks like it's gone in, work your way along from that side and if it's correctly gone in the slot, this top piece of rubber should be able to sit flush against the glass. If you have real difficulties getting this uh, plastic to fit in the slot, then do it um, at a slight angle like this. We're maybe asking somebody to hold it at the top, give it a little bit of a twist anti-clockwise, try and get that first edge into the slot. Uh, twisting it slightly, tap it in, it doesn't matter at this stage that it's uh, sitting too, in too high a position because we can knock it down from the top once it's in. You may see that's sitting a little bit too high so all we've got to do now is go to the top and either lever or if you've got space then uh, give it a little bit of a tap down. Here we've got only room to lever it. So, 
can give that a little bit of a push down like so until sitting flush at the bottom. Then once you've got one H in, just tap it till it moves into the slot going all the way up the window. So that's the inside trim back in place. Now all we've got to do is refit the outside rubber beading. And to fit the rubber beading, um, take note of which way around it goes. Normally there's some sort of lip that slots into the plastic, uh, various different designs. But you see here we've got uh, a little edge lip so that goes that way around. And the bit that goes uh, between the glass and the plastic will have a sloping edge. So give the glass a bit of a shove over and it then should be able to refit the rubber. Sometimes it's easier to dip in a little bit of soapy water if it's difficult and sometimes you'll need to use a screwdriver to push that edge down into the UPVC if it's difficult. Once you've done one side, line up the other piece of the rubber to the other edge so that you don't get too much stretch of the rubber or we'll find it doesn't reach and then you can refit the centre section. Okay job done and that's how to refit a new double glazed window pane. Okay thanks for watching bye.